In this episode, we will talk about the comparison between the Hawking radiation effect appearing in black holes and the phenomena of quantum depletion appearing in Bose Einstein condensates. Let's enjoy it! Black holes are compact objects. In general, any object able to concentrate its own mass inside its own gravitational radius can become a black hole. It is well known that nothing can escape from a black hole classically. In general, once you cross the even horizon of the black hole, there is no way to come back. The only destination where you can go next is the singularity of the black hole. I will better avoid to cross the event horizon of the black hole. Now let's talk about Bose-Einstein condensates. The first question which comes to our minds is what is a Bose-Einstein condensate and why is it so relevant for understanding the physics of black holes? Imagine for a moment that we have a gas of bosons, with the bosons here represented by the red balls appearing on the screen. If we decrease the temperature of the system up to some level, all the bosons will try to occupy the lowest energy level. When this occurs, all the bosons at the lowest energy level start to show a collective behavior. In other words, they start to behave as a single entity. This is precisely what we call a Bose-Einstein condensate. Now imagine that we can reach the absolute zero temperature for the condensate. In such a case, the Bose-Einstein condensate system would behave exactly as a black hole. Let's explain for a moment why this is the case. First of all, Classically, nothing can escape from the even horizon of the black hole. In the same way, classically, the bosons belonging to the condensate cannot escape from the ground state if the temperature of the system is the absolute zero. Then, in some sense, the existence of the even horizon for a black hole is equivalent to the zero temperature condition for the condensate. Now let's go to the quantum regime. Quantum mechanically, particles can indeed escape from the black hole. This occurs through the process called Hawking radiation. This corresponds to a quantum effect. In a similar way, quantum mechanically, some bosons can escape from the condensate even if the temperature of the system is the absolute zero. This phenomena has been observed experimentally and it is called quantum depletion. Then we can conclude that the Hawking radiation effect in black holes is just equivalent to the quantum depletion effect in both Einstein condensate systems when they experience a zero temperature. Using the Vogelubov transformations in order to analyze the Hawking radiation effect, as well as the quantum depletion process. Thanks, Erika. Indeed, in both cases, for the Hawking radiation, as well as for the quantum depletion effect, we can use the Vogelubov transformations in order to calculate the amount of particles emitted during the process. This is another reason for considering both phenomena as analog processes. The fact that the Bose-Einstein condensates at zero temperature behave as a black hole in all the regimes, namely classical and quantum, is a very important analogy which will help us to understand deeper issues about the holographic principle. We will discuss more about this issue in future episodes. In summary, Bose-Einstein condensates at zero temperature behave as black holes. This zero temperature condition in the condensates is just equivalent to the existence of an even horizon from the perspective of black holes. Finally, the Hawking radiation effect is equivalent to the quantum depletion phenomena appearing in the Bose-Einstein condensates. 
If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link and subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.